Did you know that the most aggressive shark is not a great white shark at all? And that the most dangerous sea creature doesn't attack people, but is still capable of finishing off any swimmer or diver? Who is it and how dangerous is it? Soon you'll find out. In this episode, I'll show you the most dangerous and creepiest ocean creatures and tell you what they can do. Let's go! When we think of dangerous sharks, first of all, we think of the notorious great white sharks. However, many experts believe that another shark is much more dangerous, the tiger shark, which is considered the most dangerous shark species for humans. On average, the body length of this species reaches 5.5 meters, but according to some reports, there are larger individuals with a length of up to 7 and even 9 meters. These creatures weigh about 500 to 600 kilograms. The tiger shark is known for its aggression and incredible voraciousness. Being a predator, the tiger shark is not much worried about what it would like to eat today. It eats crustaceans, fish, sea snakes, marine mammals, turtles, cephalopods, and even birds. But sometimes the tiger shark's dinner can be a human. To protect humans from attacks, some countries even shoot tiger sharks, which have gained an unfortunate reputation of man-eating animals. As for the veracity, a very interesting feature of this species is its ability to eat incredible things and turn the stomach inside out to remove undigested food residues. The great white shark can't do that. Sea snake As if we didn't have enough snakes on land, so nature decided to throw some reptiles into the water. There's no escape from those dodgy creatures. Sea snakes are very dangerous creatures that tend to live in the Indian and Pacific Oceans. All sea snakes are venomous to one degree or another, but one of them is extremely venomous. It's the Du Bois sea snake, which is considered the third most venomous snake in the world. It swims in the seas of Indonesia and Malaysia, as well as off the coast of Australia. The venom of this snake affects the respiratory center, so the victim can die of asphyxiation. These reptiles are not aggressive, but they are difficult to see underwater. So a person stepping on the snake can get a dose of deadly venom in return. By the way, sea snakes can even be more dangerous on land than in water. Inexperienced fishermen who set nets foolishly pull out these snakes with their bare hands, getting painful bites. Although sea snake bites are not often fatal, you should immediately consult a doctor after an attack. Millipora Corals can pose a great danger. Surprised? In the case of Millipora, this is absolutely true. They're known as fire corals. Fire corals can be found in the Indian, Pacific, and Atlantic Oceans. They look like ordinary corals or even seaweed, so an inexperienced swimmer would never guess what a danger they actually pose. Meanwhile, fire corals are extremely dangerous. The name says it all. These are extremely venomous cynodaria, so the slightest touch can cause a severe burn. The fact that the surface of the coral is covered with very small, sensitive tentacles that respond to pressure and activate the exploding cells with the strongest toxins. The fire coral's venom is very powerful. People who have had the misfortune to come into contact with fire corals said they felt as if they'd received a burn from a red-hot metal. The burn gradually develops into an ulcer, and when the wound heals, it leaves a visible scar. And while fire coral burns are not fatal, they can cause painful shock and unconsciousness. You can understand what this can do at great depths. Fire corals stand practically motionless on the seabed and can't attack humans on their own. Unfortunately, the same cannot be said about very scary and gigantic crocodile, which has no problem getting along in seawater and doesn't mind to eat any moving object. Stay tuned to see this extremely dangerous crocodile, learn about the beautiful sea creatures that pose a huge threat to humans, and most importantly, See the most dangerous ocean creature and find out what it's capable of. Let's move on. Saltwater Crocodile What distinguishes saltwater crocodiles from common crocodiles is that they can safely live in ocean water and the fact that these monsters are many times more dangerous than common crocodiles. Saltwater crocodiles are the largest terrestrial predators on the entire planet. They regularly grow up to 5.2 and more meters in length and in some cases can reach as much as 7 meters in length. On average, these toothy creatures weigh several hundred kilograms, but in some cases their weight can exceed a ton. It would be okay if saltwater crocodiles were known only for their impressive size, but no. They're also famous for their fierce aggression towards all living things and their insane bite force. According to scientists, 
only large dinosaurs could compete with saltwater crocodiles in terms of jaw strength. Adult saltwater crocodiles can safely spend several months in the sea without any visible harm to themselves. Some saltwater crocodiles have even been found in water twice as salty as normal seawater. A person swimming into the water where a saltwater crocodile is resting is very likely to become a victim of this monster. For this reason, these crocodiles are often deliberately caught to secure certain areas of the seas. When we think of the ocean's most dangerous creatures, we hardly imagine shells or snails, right? Take a look at them. What kind of danger could these lovely snails pose? But it's not that simple. Meet cone snails, a family of beautiful but very, very venomous and predatory gastropod mollusks. Cone snails are the case of nature cruelly deceiving us. Their bright coloration, although attractive, suggests that these creatures are extremely venomous. Cone snails are equipped with a harpoon, which stings their victims, and they can do it both in the immediate vicinity of the victim and from a fairly long distance. From a long distance, they shoot a harpoon so strong that it can even pierce the protective suit of a diver. Ow! And if the diver is still lucky enough to avoid the shot, he or she can accidentally step on the cone snail, laying on the seabed, and get stung. The sting of this beautiful snail is extremely dangerous. Their venom acts very quickly, so in most cases, death can occur in a matter of minutes. Death occurs in 30 to 50 percent of cases. In other cases, the sting of the beautiful snail can cause severe pain, nausea, swelling, paralysis, and even blindness. It's believed that there's no antidote for cone snail sting, so the venom has to be eliminated from the body by bloodletting. Box Jellyfish Another beautiful animal in this episode is box jellyfish, a pretty large creature with a graceful dome, long tentacles that hover beautifully in the water, and a mottled coloration. It's hard to believe that such a charming creature is capable of causing much harm. Probably the most it can do is sting unpleasantly, just like other jellyfish, right? Actually, no. Box jellyfish are very dangerous, venomous sea creatures. If such a jellyfish stings a person, it could kill them. As scientists have found out, contact with the tentacles of this creature opens the human's body cells, resulting in a leakage of potassium, which leads to cardiovascular collapse. Even in the best case, contact with a box jellyfish will end in severe pain, so don't underestimate these creatures. Even the most experienced divers and swimmers take them seriously and wear protective suits before diving into the habitat of these monsters. And the authorities of some countries, for example Australia, even stretch out special nets in the water, which prevents box jellyfish to swim in the tourist area. Sea Devil This creature is called a sea devil for a reason. By its appearance, it can scare even the bravest person on the planet. Sea Devil is one of the most dangerous creatures in the ocean, but unlike other creatures from this episode, it poses a danger not to humans but to the deep sea creatures because these monsters live at a great depth. If you look at this fish under the light, you can see that it's the real embodiment of horror. Sharp, protruding, and angled teeth, disproportionate huge mouth, and scary eyes. All this together looks pretty creepy. On their back, there's a special fin, which in the process of evolution divided into several separate rods. Each of them is crowned by a special pouch with a cluster of bacteria that can glow to lure victims. Some species of sea devils have glowing teeth and some have taken things a step further. They've grown a fishing rod in the mouth, on which their deep-sea neighbors are caught. Any deep-sea dweller is a potential victim of these monsters, so they're really dangerous. It's hard to believe that this is what the most dangerous creature in the ocean looks like. It's the stonefish. It doesn't look very nice, but its appearance is tolerable. It's not huge in size and doesn't boast insanely sharp teeth, but at the same time it can finish off almost anyone who touches it. Because the stonefish is the most venomous and with it the most dangerous fish in the whole world. The essence of the fish lies in its name. It's not called the stonefish by accident. The creature dwells on the seabed and perfectly disguises itself as a rock. It can be clearly seen from the photos. The fish isn't aggressive, it just lies on the seabed and rests. But only one step on the fish is enough for bad things to happen. On the dorsal fin of the fish, there are venomous, sharp, and tough spines that can plunge into the foot of an inattentive person. The more pressure is put on the fish, the more venom it injects. 
If a person steps on the stonefish slightly, the best case will be shock, paralysis, or tissue necrosis. If a person steps on the fish with all his might, then the lethal outcome will be almost guaranteed. The stonefish live in shallow waters of the Pacific and Indian Oceans, so remember this if you find yourself in these parts of the world. That's all, guys. Which sea creature are you most afraid of? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later.